Kenya must have an opportunity to learn. Na ndio sababu muliona ya kwamba mwaka huu tumeajiri walimu wengine elfu wa msini na sita wapya. Kwa sababu elimu ndio msingi na elimu Mandela alisema is the greatest equalizer. Mahali ambapo inapatikana usawa pale kwa elimu watoto wetu wakisoma. So tutashirikiana hivyo, tutafanya kazi hivyo na tutapeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele. Jana mulisikia sasa wale watu walikuwa wanasungumuza mambo ya dialogue, wamemalizana na hiyo kazi. Na tunawapongeza wamemaliza hiyo kazi. Na tunawapongeza wamemaliza hiyo kazi, sasa tuungane tupeleke Kenya mbele. Wametoa mapendekezo na hiyo mapendekezo yote wametoa ni sawa. Mahali wamesema tupunguze gharama ya serikali ile watu wanaenda eh, safari ile watu wamesema ipunguzwe by 50 uh, by 30%. Ngine wamesema ipunguzwe by 50%. Hiyo ya 50% nimefanya tayari kupunguza hiyo by 50%. Ile wanasema ipunguzwe by 30% mimi napendekeza hata tuongeze ikuwe 50% ndio tupunguze zaidi ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele because we must learn to live within our means yale mambo mengine yote wamependekeza sasa nyinyi wabunge muende mukalie hiyo maneno tumalizane sisi wa Kenya wengine tuungane sasa tushirikiane na kujenga taifa letu la Kenya bila ugomvi bila chuki na bila ya kugawana tuwe pamoja so that we can move together as a country and therefore i want to congratulate all the teams that were involved in the dialogue process they have come up with recommendations i i have seen the recommendations they are in good stead all the recommendations they have made they are practical we are going to work on those recommendations to reduce in areas they have recommended to do whatever they have uh, recommended in parliament those that belong to the executive i will make sure that we execute without any delay the job of the rest of us as kenyans now is to unite and move together into the future to build our country to build the unity of the citizens of our country and to work on our economy so that we can grow we can grow jobs and we can enhance production and productivity so that we can reduce the cost of living and we can create opportunities for Kenyans to be their best kwa hivyo ndugu zangu watu wa peace food mimi nataka niwashukuru sisi tulifanya ilikuwa ni uchaguzi wa aina ya kipekee Mambo matatu muhimu yalifanyika katika hiyo uchaguzi. Ya kwanza Mungu alitusaidia tukafanya uchaguzi ambayo ilimalisa ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya. Mungu akatusaidia tukafanya uchaguzi ikawa ni uchaguzi wa amani, ajabu katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na Mungu akatusaidia tukafanya uchaguzi ikajulikana Kenya ya kwamba viongozi wanachaguliwa na Mungu na wananchi. Mimi najua mnakumbuka wakati huo mandugu zetu wengine walikuwa wanatuambia yule wa muhimu sio wa kupiga kura. Yule wa muhimu ni wa kuhesabu. Walituambia ati kuna kitu inaitwa deep state na system sijui na nini. Hata mfanye vile mtafanya kura itaenda vile tunataka. Lakini Mungu ni nani? Silijulikana Mungu ndiye anachagua viongozi. So tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kazi hiyo ambayo imefanyika. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwamba vile ule msichana alisema hapa tutazidi na kutembea katika barabara ya kumheshimu kumta